Now we'll talk about image formation in a plane mirror. And by plane mirror, that's P-L-A-N-E, we mean a flat geometrical plane. So this is just a flat mirror. So let's imagine looking at a mirror, and this is the mirror seen from the edge. So this is the floor down here, and let's suppose that an object is standing on the floor right here. And then we're going to be up here, so this is our eye seen from the side. So that's the pupil there and some eyelashes. That's supposed to be an eye. So like the, if you're having trouble with that, you imagine the nose and the mouth and the chin there. So that's a face. You're looking this way. So that's an eye is seen from the side. Now whenever you look at anything, you're looking in a certain direction. And when you look at an image in a mirror, you are looking in a certain direction. And light rays are coming from that direction into your eye. And the image appears to be in the direction in which the rays are coming from when they enter your eye. So what we see down here, I'm going to draw the light rays reflecting off the top corner and the bottom corner of this object. So th this is a solid object down here and light is coming in and striking it and light is scattering off from that object in all directions. Some of those light rays come and strike the mirror and enter your eye. Let me try that one more time. Okay, and some light rays from the bottom corner down here also come and strike the mirror and enter your eye. So the point I'm making here is that when you look at the image in the mirror, if you look this way, you can see the image in the mirror, but your, your line of sight goes in this direction. It follows the light rays coming into your eye. So if we take these two lines and extend them this way, we end up with a point down here and a point here. The object appears to be over here. It appears to be behind the mirror. And you should be familiar with that. When you get up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't see the image of yourself on the front of the mirror like a painting. It's not like it's right there on the mirror. If you're two feet in front of the mirror, then the image of yourself is two feet behind the mirror. In other words, the light here, look at this top corner. The light has traveled a certain distance and entered your eye. And you can perceive that. So you see in this direction, that far away would be this point in space right here behind the mirror, such that this total distance is equal to the total distance the light traveled before it came to your eye. And the same thing with the bottom corner. Light coming off the bottom corner goes a certain distance and enter, enters your eye. And in that direction, for that total distance, you see the bottom corner of the box. So the image appears back here behind the mirror. Now, what's actually behind the mirror, who knows? This could be a wall, this could be another room, this could be outside of the house. The point, the point to understand here is that there, there aren't actually light rays here converging to form an image. This is what we call a virtual image. No image really exists over here. It could be anything imaginable over there. But it appears as if the image is there. That's a virtual image. That's different from what we call a real image. A real image forms where light rays actually converge to make an image. And a good example of that would be a movie screen. If you have a movie screen here and there's a, a projector over here, projecting a movie onto the movie screen, then light rays are actually shining on the screen. And there's lenses and, and a, a light bulb producing light and lenses focusing the light on the screen. So ac you actually get an image in here on the screen. Maybe it's some mountains and some sky or something. But you actually get light rays landing on the screen, producing an image on the screen. That's a real image. Of, and it actually exists right there on the screen. That's why we call it real. A virtual image is an image that only seems to exist at that particular location.